Good morning, folks. What's going on there? Earthmaster here jumping in uh, just real quick for an early morning update here on the uh, second day of April 2021, about 9, 17 a.m. West Coast time and activity kind of picking up a little bit on the California coast there overnight. I uh, had a couple of four pointers off the coast there in the southern part of the uh, oh, off the Cascadia subduction zone there. This is all due to um, activity. Uh, continuing there in the trimmer department, we've seen a lot of trimmer last night. Let's go ahead and check that out real quick. Into Northern California still. This is like the fourth day in a row where we've seen uh, quite a bit of a confined trimmer, um, which ultimately, ultimately uh, back adds back pressure up here along the locked section of Cascadia and also areas to the, uh, further back beyond that locked area, uh, providing some surface quaking uh, that's very obvious here on the map. Um, and this is just from the last 24 hours. There has been uh, further earthquakes within this region and further to the west here uh, that uh, coincide with the tremor that's going on there over the past few days. Overnight, though, a pair of four-pointers off here uh, off the coast of Northern California. This one down here, the latest one, 18 kilometers, little deep movement right there along the southern section of the Cascadia uh, Mega Thrust area. Uh, 18 kilometers, 4.4, just to the south of uh, what's out there. Um, I can't remember that little town. Ah, uh, Eureka, Arcata. Okay, but anyway, about uh, oh, about 25, 30 miles or so from Eureka, Arcata area. A little bit of further movement there, 1.6 microquake, but the 4.4 striking much further out there at 8 kilometers, 4.6, I should say. Um, this was prior to the 4.4 that struck a little bit closer there to the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, and then we had a, uh, a 2.5 being the latest earthquake at a really shallow depth right there, 0.3 kilometers, um, just, well, about an hour or so after the, uh, the 4.4 that struck there. So activity continuing, folks. You know, it's not, uh, I don't think it's anything to worry about, but it's definitely um, some heightened activity out there along the uh, Cascadia subduction zone region. And uh, I want to go back here real quick uh, to the, uh, let's see, let's get rid of this. I want to go seven days, all ma or seven days, 2.5 and above. So this adds on a little bit of further earthquakes there that uh, are up there in the four range, 4.1 there, 4.7 within, uh, within that 4.1. So. That's a lot of four pointers out here over the last few days here that's taken place in variable depths here at this at this little area. Up to the north, we haven't seen a whole lot of movement, but then again, as I mentioned, the trimmer has been mostly confined here to Northern California along the Cascadia subduction zone. This again is not earthquake activity, but slow slip trimmer being monitored um, in the uh, region down dip downstream of the North American plate <clears throat> where the uh, Juan de Fuca plate subducts uh, and ultimately creates pressure and strain back over here to the west and uh, more precisely down here at the southern end of the Cascadia, uh, also the Gorda Ridges, Gorda Escarpment region, seeing that heightened earthquake activity. So just, uh, you know, a heads up, what do we got? One, two, three, four, four pointers and above uh, in this region over the past couple days. Yes, something's brewing. Something could potentially continue. Uh, we could possibly see a little bit larger quake. Um, I'm waiting to see, well, it won't be until later, uh, until the uh, trimmer map updates here, but uh, we'll see what this looks like uh, later on about uh, 6.30 or so this evening, my time, but this is just from the, <coughs> uh, the day yesterday. <clears throat> That's a lot of trimmer, let me tell you. Um, and then prior to that, we don't want to go, I don't want to have, have to go back a whole bunch of days, but you can see it, you know, it's day after day for the past four or five days. We're looking at um, a lot of movement here in Northern California. And it's just not coincidence there that we're seeing all this back building pressure and er ultimately earthquakes uh, taking place there in the uh, somewhat moderate range. But uh, um, no doubt adding pressure along the Cascadia subduction zone. So just uh, be on guard, heads up, you know, it's a, it's a, uh, one of those things that uh, could trigger something, and it may not. All magnitudes here, once again, over the last 24 hours here in California. Most of the activity confined up here to the north. 
sporadic microquake activity up and down the state uh, Ridgecrest area. Kind of looks like we're seeing <clears throat> some heightened earthquake, microquake activity there in the San Jacinto Fault area. This is actually kind of looking more like a normal day when it comes to earthquake activity. Um, oh, I'd say yesterday and the, and the days before that, we were looking at uh, some dwindling down and some abnormally quiet activity here on the western part of the uh, plate boundary, with his, which is the uh, Pacific Plate. A little swarming down here in the Salt and Sea region. A couple small microquakes there. Going to have to watch that pretty closely, see if that picks up. Uh, but overall, I think we're still looking at some uh, heightened increased pressure out here along the west coast. Uh, just be on guard um, over the, well, as long as this continues here. As uh, far as any other earthquake activity goes, we're looking at a return of quietness out here along the Pacific Rim. Uh, Pacific Ring of Fire along the western part of it. That includes areas from the Aleutian Islands down into the uh, areas here to the uh, Guam region. Areas to the west here. Philippines looking pretty quiet as well. That's why I'm looking at uh, potentially further movement out here along the west coast just due to this lack of activity uh, in the west there. So just be on guard, folks. Um, hope everyone has a good day. Just want to jump in real quick and do a quick update. Uh, Yellowstone still kind of well, it's kind of swarming a little bit. Um, take a look at the activity here on the borehole station. We've seen a return of some microquakes there popping off there on the seismograph charts. All those little spikies indicating uh, some activity there. Just very, very microquakes. So. Have a good day, folks. Another warm day here in California. We're looking at 86 degrees. Goodness. <laughs> we'll chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe out there.